Well, I reckon cup of tea time. Cup of tea time for uh, Grubby. Start of the second term, 3-3-21. Thompson, bell post hill, 1-2-8. Umpire throws the ball in the air. And Baden gets a hand down to McLeish. They can't take it away from the contest, though. Ball spilled back to Baden. He gets the kick towards half forward. Urquhart against Freeman. Oh, Freeman, good pick up. Does nicely. Runs away from Urquhart as well. 40 out. Probably had another 10 in him. 10 metres in him as well if he had of... Oh, uh, and should have taken And should have taken him as well because he missed it and threw for one behind. So, quick start. Took 20 seconds for the Tigers. 3-4-22. Only bell post till 1-2-8. And the Panthers... Shane Lima will kick the footy in once it comes back. From uh, the soccer pitch, I think, over the back. He did nicely there. Freeman against Urquhart. That's going to be a uh, nice little contest this afternoon too. Oh, he's a dangerous player. I think we should get a sponsor. Lipton's or something like that. You think? Yeah, yeah Lan yeah. Chu. <laughs> Lan Chu. <laughs> <still mate. laughs> Lan Chu, how old are you? <laughs> oh, that's funny. Lima. <laughs> <laughs> Sponsored by Lan Chu. Kick in. Looks for Addy. Over the back. Oh, Davis couldn't take in the mark. I thought it was. In fact, it might have been Baden, actually. So the ball still in dispute at half forward. Lentini threw the ball to Merrick. He got it away to James. Does the uh, dosey do with himself and kicks the ball towards half uh, towards centre wing. Costello got a hand up there. Ball spills free. Denham was there as well. Now Barlow got the handball backwards. They go, okay, Lentini off a step. Goes sideways, really, the footy. Jones leaves it behind, though. Thompson with the numbers across halfback. Wiseman had it, lost it, tried to get it back, then couldn't. He needs some support. Jones flicked the handball out to Baden. He gets it away to Denham at defensive 50. Chips the ball nice at Egan. They can run away now. A little bit of space on centre wing. He chips the ball. Peter Pan comes up, takes the mark. He wheels around quickly. Goes with the right foot kick to half forward. Wall ball stuck a hand up. Nearly took the mark. Second effort was okay. James, though, put him off the ball. The umpire says play on advantage. I don't know where it was. He'll have to bring it back now. Everybody stopped. <laughs> and uh, Thompson will take the free kick back with Brendan Wall on the right half forward flank. Uh, Given Bell Post a little bit of time to uh, work back into their defensive 50. Lead on by Davis, goes in that direction. Addy right next to him, good kick, couldn't take the mark. Addy pushed Pan past the footy and gained an extra couple of metres and then saw it over the line for a throw in. About 50 around from the Thompson goal. they 3 4 22, Bell Post 1 2 8, two and a half played, second term. So half forward line, ball thrown back into play, and it's Merrick that's just going to tap it. Or he's, I thought he was going to take it out of his ruck, but he decided to tap it. He's gone after it again, got the handball away. Has he? Was it okay? Umpires let it go. Went towards Barlow, I think, on the centre wing. Again, it's still held up in there. Merrick trying to feed the ball through. Comes out the back to Tunbridge, and he is now set upon. And the umpire says, oh, we've jumped on it and brought it back in. So Freak is going to Bell Post Hill. Lentini, defensive side of centre wing for Bell Post Hill. Decides to go long into the half-forward line. Costello was one of the targets there. It's Barton. Costello just kicks the ball off the ground, goes into the half for, for the forward pocket now. Oh, Tari, that was a good clean pickup. Don't know how he got the holes for him, but he's going to win it back. No, he's not. Handball went over the boundary line and will be thrown back in. 25 around from the behind post. This time at Bell Post still attacking into the ground. It's thrown back in by the umpire, and it comes out the back hole. A little kick back towards centre half back, coming across. Lentini just tried to guard the ball. Coming the other way was well. Got the handball away to Barton. Barton looked for some options. Gave it to Fantella. Handball back to Lentini. They're going backwards, but they maintain control. Goes out wide towards Gray. Just needs to run onto the ball. Has a little bit of time now. Runs back on his right side. Looks across the ground. That's a good kick. And Flacavento will take the mark. So Flacavento inside the centre square. Now looking to go towards Justin Tarr. Longer kick. Goes over the top. Out the back. Baden can't take it. Maguire is there. He picks it up. Fed it out. Back towards... The uh, teammate in Denham got a little kick around the boundary line. Only as far as Merrick, he goes back towards the goal square. And it's a little bit too wide there. And it's gone out of bounds on the full. Free kick to the Thompson side. Hodgson will be the recipient. So Hodgson now just kicks the ball long. Outside 50. Good distance. Lentini goes back. Oh, paid the mark. Paid the mark, says the umpire. So he'll be able to give the handball. He was going to give it, but then decides to kick into the forward line. Coming up, holds Fiend. Did he take the ball? Yes, he did, he the said. The umpire says he did as well. 
Maybe a couple of lucky calls there for the bell post hill side. May have bounced after he took the first grab. Yeah, I think he just a little bobble there. I did see it, but whether it hit the ground, I'm not, a, not too sure. I think it was a knock on in rugby league. <laughs> so now Holsfeen from about 25 to 30 delivers the ball. That's and a great he knows kick. The breeze there because he's wow. straight through the middle. And Bell Post Hill now have their second goal of the afternoon. They're 2 2. They trail Thompson on 3 4. Five minutes gone. Second quarter. Common Fiend Hotel. Second quarter scoreboard. I just think he has lost that touch of pace. He was very, very, very quick. He's still pretty quick. But by geez, the knowledge of the ground, the knowledge of the wind, he knew he was going to kick that goal when he took the mark. And he just went back and kicked it. And not too much deliberation. Just thought, hey, I'm going to kick this because we've got to get back in the game. And you know, a couple more and they're back in it. Well, they're still back in it now. But geez, they're not playing good footy, are they? No. I'm going to get the third jacket on, I think. <laughs> Chilly? It's got cold. Lucky you parked the car in the disabled spot. So back to the middle. Baden goes up. Double-hander gets it down. But roved by Bell Post Hill. Well, have got it out. And as far as Baden handball to Jones. His handball backwards to Tunbridge. He's handball to Hodgson. He kicks around the corner. Terrible to Basley. Good mark. Ooh. Oh, well, that, one, that one was a he mark. He did pay the, pay the <laughs> mark. Basley goes out wide. Carlin doesn't make the ground. Now Wiseman comes at him. He gets the handball away to James. Runs to defend, to, to 50. Goes long with a kick towards the goal square. Tar over his head. Maguire there as well. And runs away from everybody. Barlow wants Tari to run towards it as well. The big fella gets there first. Brings the ball back in board. Foul. Couldn't. No mark taken. Fair Teller. Now Lentini. Handball away. Back to Page. Still 50 out. Got Welv across 50. Kicks over the umpire's head. Goes backwards to the middle. It's okay. Takes the mark. Plays on. Goes with a kick inside. 50 again. McGuire goes up. Up off the back of the pack. Foot race now. Barlow and Denham. And they see it over the line. For a rush behind to the Panthers. They are 2 3 15. Thompson 3 4 22. Scoreboard looks magnificent Scoreboard now. It does now. With cl clouds <laughs> all around and no yeah. sun. So Hodgson to play on. Kicks it in. McGuire takes the mark. Plays on quickly. He chips the ball towards Baden. Merrick against him. Over the back. Hutchinson to run onto it. Got a bit of space. Oh, he worked himself into trouble. Then he dropped the footy. The umpire said, Oh, lucky. Well, I might have got you. a hand to lucky. it. Lucky. Page across centre wing. Kicks the ball. Wide and coming at it, Costello. Tunbridge right next to him. Numbers with Bell Post Hill, but they can't pick it up. Well, does now in the end. Gives it away to Fantella. Hutchinson running on the spot. Kick around the corner. Wiseman punched it away defensively across 50. Ball spills to Carlin. Does the uh, blind turn to himself and goes to the left foot kick. Back towards goal. Oh, McGuire, lucky he was there. It bounced right into his hands. Wasn't lucky. He right, read it. right in the goal square. Goes to Egan. He takes the mark. Bit of time now for Thompson just to settle the play down. Needs something to kick to. He goes back in board looking for McLeish who takes the mark in front of Page at half back. Now Jacker gave him a wide lead. Now size gives him a lead. He goes in that direction. Going to have a couple against him. No mark taken. Front and centre was okay from Wall. Got it away to Gardner. His handball over the top to size Now he goes with the ball and the kick towards uh, 50. Terrible. Addy read it better. And Cam Addy. Kicks the ball across half back. Fantella, they're out now. The Panthers. He can run free. Thought about the bounce. Oh, he ran a long he way. Ran a very long way. Then he goes and then he turns the ball over to Hutchinson. So maybe he should have <laughs> bounced it. Hutchinson takes the mark at half back. Goes to half forward. They're just playing kick to kick here, Freeman. And he was that was late. That free was kick. a yeah, free kick. And Urquhart will take it at defensive 50. Uh, 3 4 22. Thompson. Bell post till 2 3 15. We played eight and a half second term. Rain looks like it's about to uh, yeah. hit or either that or it's gone past because yeah, it's definitely no, it's out raining. the back. So we've got the ball in the hands now. Lentini still in the half back line for them. So Bell post still just uh, holding things up. Not too much movement. A little safety kick. We'll mark put into the hands there of Page. And he will take possession of the ball. Still in the half back line. Barton leads up. He ignores that. He goes back. And now Willie Urquhart's got the ball. But Thompson have covered their uh, passage out the other side pretty nicely. So Urquhart now looking to bring the ball back towards Page. But he decides to come back. Club rim side. Little flat kick. Barton comes up and takes the mark. So basically looks like he's going to be the next option. Needs to load up and go long. 
Wynn's got hold of that again, so back into the contest it goes. Picked up Lentini, tried to get the handball out. Don't think that was an effective handball, but he's got away with it. Went to James, runs away, a little bit of dash. Don't think Reese Hole was going to catch him. And the ball goes long in towards Tar. He's in front, doesn't take the mark. Good spoil from behind. Carlin read that nicely. He was tackled, ball came out with an incorrect disposal. And McLeese, the recipient of the free kick, he's going to transfer play back. Clubber inside, goes towards Egan, held up, but um, got the mark. So Egan now. Defensive side of centre wing, called the play on by the umpire, goes down the line, precise as the target, ball, there he takes the mark, tried to tap it out, was Lyman, but he couldn't do it effectively, ball goes quickly into the half forward line, Barton position himself nicely and he takes the mark. Well, he's back so where Jimmy he belongs. Barton. Yeah, I think so, they might have made the switch. So Barton, little chip inside, back to Lyman. Little chip up over the top, goes to work it. He can run if he wants to, but he just uh, decides to slow things down well. Far side of the ground, that's where he goes now. Puts it out in front, kick. Was okay, got onto it nicely. Then picked the ball up, went into the half-forward line. Coming out, Denham on hands and knees, couldn't take the mark. Costello picks it up, handballs back over the top, goes to Gray. Doesn't take possession of it, does now. He's trapped, caught. Umpire says no prior opportunity there. So there's going to be a ball up to take place. Gee, he handballed to, handball to a bloke with someone right in his hammer. So the ball is now thrown up by the umpire. Again, it's uh, come out, goes to Holwell. Got the handball further afield, but McNamara was anyone sitting there. He went backwards, had well, uh, so, well, it was Gray. He picked the kick, was turned over again. So they win possession back, Thompson. That was oh, incorrect he's disposal. Gone, the umpire the says it's free kick, and it goes to Lentini. He probably has been Belpo, still a better player for the day. This quarter, he's been really, really good. And just watch his disposal, because that was his problem early. So his kick is low and flat. Well, there you go. There you go. He could be Thompson's best player. Love you, beauty. (laughs) (laughs) And it's Egan on the far side of the ground. I think there's one possession back for the Thompson side. He's called to play on now by the umpire. Comes across the ground, low and flat. Mm. Good pick up Hodgson. Went back, and he's got time to steady now. A little short kick that Mark has taken out there. McLeish, far side of the ground. Still the defensive side of centre, and he steadies himself and goes down the line now. In front, Urquhart, over the top, ball is brought to ground. Comes back towards Welve. He's got his head over the contest. Ball ends up with Thompson once again. They kick it forward, but again, Urquhart comes out and takes the mark. Now, there's a free kick down the field Nachos. here. Nachos has picked the high one. And it's going to go to, is it Baden out there? Or Davis. Davis it is. So over the top, he's got Wall. He's got him out and running. Just needs to take possession. He picks it up now to the pocket. He runs. He looks back towards goal, but he won't bring it back far enough and through for a minor score. Wall with two behinds. Thompson now 3-5. They lead Bell Post still on 2-3. 12 and a half minutes gone. Second quarter, Commonwealth Hotel. Second quarter scoreboard. They've had a couple of chances to extend their lead. Well, they have by points, but a couple of chances for goals. Lima plays on, kicks it into Fantella. Between the back pocket and half back. Adrian Fantella. Called to play on now. He chips it along the line towards Barton. Big Timmy runs out of uh, space. And Wiseman sees him over. And we'll have a boundary throw in in front of the Thompson coaching box. At half forward. Thompson in attack. Nice. Throw in. Merrick from behind. Big thump away. Over the head there of Solly. Ball comes out in dispute now. It'll be Page. Troweth comes the other way, does nicely, then needs some support. Handball came back out towards Baden. The Reese Hole will try to kick it off the ground, then gets on hands and knees. Lima's kick was uh, nowhere. Coming through the middle was Solly. He couldn't take it either. Pack develops at half forward. The umpire coming to ball it up, for God's sake. Where else is it going to go? There's 12 players around it. And it'll be a ball up. Baden and Merrick. Pina throws the ball in the air. Baden gets it down. Solly leaves it behind. Holwell, his kick was smothered by his own teammate. I Kicked think. it into his guts. Yeah, he did. <laughs> I don't think he's in a bit of trouble too, yeah. I think. Oh, well, I think he got a bit of leg there as well. I think he did get a bit of leg too. Yeah, he's all right. Uh, McLeish, I think it was. And gets up with a bit of help from Baden. And he's uh, hobbling off. So he'll be replaced. Once he can get off the ground, Baden goes up. Merrick gets it down. Baden second tap. Comes out the side, Freeman runs into some traffic, Urquhart. Wall comes across to uh, attacking 50 and try, can't, tries to pick it up, can't do so. Urquhart right next to him. They followed it right across the line of the 50, right to the other side of the ground. Wall keeps it going, then he toe pokes it in front of himself a couple of metres. Oh, no, that's deliberate. 
The umpire says throw it in. Oh, he handballed that to the line. Don't pay it here, do they? No, well, I'm glad they don't. I, I would. I know they, I got in trouble for saying it early in the piece when they first started doing it. It's gone out the game, so well done, umps. So I'll throw in. 40 around from the Thompson goal. Rain here as well now. So they're going to make conditions even more difficult. Hole through the middle. He threw the head back hole while he hoping did. for a kick then. Archos comes in and he'll ball it up. Well, he's one of the most experienced and best umpires. You've got to do it pretty well to fool him. Yep. The ball up. Thompson still into attack. Ruck contest. Josiah's. Now Holfein, his kick was smothered, goes back to try and pick it up, and then ripped off the ground, ripped off the ball. The umpire didn't uh, get faked out by that. Now the ball from Gray goes long to Barlow, who just goes Push, up. Push, no. No, the umpire says play on. Close to the boundary line on centre wing. Merrick gets it away quickly. Basley's there as well. Hodgson, Basley kick off the ground towards Timmy Barton. Wiseman pushed him past the footy. Oh, Big Timmy. Good footy. Did nicely. Handballed it back to Seeker on the ground. He goes wide. Doesn't hit a target though. Out of bounds for a throw in. 15 and a half played. Second term. Thompson 3 5 23. Bell post till 2 3 15. Getting cold, getting wet. Yeah, five goals might win this game. Yeah, it's a little bit watching the under 12s on a Sunday, yeah. isn't it? They're just everybody <laughs> everywhere. Yeah. So just waiting for the umpire now to uh, restart play. Far side of the ground in between half forward and centre wing. Balpo still just there attacking into the ground. So the contest ball is pushed forward there, but it ends up in the hands of Fantella, who kicks round the body, goes back to the half forward line. Barlow in front. Couldn't take the mark for Circus there with him as well. Barlow picked the ball up. He's tackled by Denham. Ball is not going to come out of there. So the umpire in again, once again, then we'll have a ball up. Hands just come on the ground, sits there by himself. Urquhart's put his hand up, says he's mine. So the ball kicked off the ground there, goes into the half forward line. Oh, good clean pick up there by Holsfeen again, goes into the forward line. Barton, he's marked that. Grab and he's taken the mark. So Barton now, normal day would have said Barton's in range here, but uh, back into that breeze, he's going to be do everything he can to get the score, but it goes towards the top of the goal square, actually went further afield. Wow. It's gone back to closer to centre half forward than anywhere, and Mark has been taken there by Muir. So he can go back and kick towards goal. You know, coming from that side, I reckon the wind's brought that back 15 metres in the air. Mm. Yeah, it was going to land in the goal square when he first Well, you go, looked like it was going to, and now he's 20. 30 out. Yeah. <laughs> so Benny Muir, an opportunity, steps in, kicks low, clicks flat. That's how you kick him. Straight through the middle, I think. The umpire's touched. Oh, it's been touched. We need the review here. Who touched that? Not too sure, but it's been touched anyway, so it's 2-4. Now, two, this is on the mark, 2-4. Hodgson does the right thing, plays on, goes long, goes towards centre wing and beyond. That's a great kick out of defence because he's now in attack. Urquhart and uh, Scott run for the ball, picked up there. Flacavento got the handball back outside, went to Scott, got the handball further afield. Again, it's not picked up there by Jones. So again, <laughs> but they stay in the contest. Now, there's, there's a free a throw. Kick. And it's going to Flacavento of Bell Post Hill. Lucky uh, Urquhart got a hand in there. They were away, Thompson. So Flacavento, a little short chip along the boundary. Puts Merrick under a fair Ooh, bit of pressure. The big fella of... just tapes the ball to himself. Got the handball away. But again, unfortunately, Flacavento was too close to him. But he's worked hard, Merrick. Went back and yeah. collected it now and kicked the ball back towards centre wing. Coming across, ball has bounced. And the game that's picked up there, far side by James. Page is also there. Uh, it was a kick forward by Bell Post. Still not too sure who had it, but their mark has been taken by Costello. So he now goes and goes into the half forward line. Barton read that nicely, went back and collected the ball, plays on, goes towards centre half forward, coming out. Is Maguire, he's in front of Tar, and now he's under a bit of pressure, got the handball away. Barton's there to mop up. Again, kicks around the corner, only as far as Holsfeen, went back and collected it. Got the ball, went back towards Viserka. Got a hand on it. Egan trapped it again. It comes in. Costello. Oh, Egan's done nice. He's got the ball out of there. Gone back towards the centre of the ground. And so the mark has been taken out there by Jacker. So Egan, a very good bit of work in defence. Jacker to his feet. And he plays on quickly. Goes to the far side of the ground. Mark will be taken out there. And it's Scott who will take it and run. He goes into the forward line to looking towards Davis. Through his hands it go. 
and runs over the boundary line. We'll have a throw in, in the half forward line for the Thompson side at 19 minutes of this second quarter. Bell Post Hill are 2 4. They trail Thompson on 3 5. He's got to learn this, young Davis. If he gets three metres on Cam Addy and gets the ball in his hands, hold it. <laughs> hold on to it. You're <laughs> not going to get many chances. Boundary throw in. Uh, might have to happen again, I think, because neither Ruckman was uh, anywhere near that boundary throw in. Well, I'm not going to bag any boundary no, umpires no, throw in today. Day, tough I'll day. Tell you what, it is a tough day for boundary <laughs> umpires. Tough, tough day. day for everybody. Absolutely. Throw it in. And it's better. Tresize goes up against uh, Gray. Ball. Can't come out. Jones through the middle handball for Thompson. Comes back quickly. They get the ball towards the top of the square. It might run through. It has. I think it has. I think it's Hodgson. Is it? Just take me a look over there. No, it might be uh, Scott, is it? Not Freeman. No, uh, it might be, yeah, it might be Freeman Long too. Sleeve. Yeah. yeah, I think it's Freeman. Freeman it is. Yeah, that was great. Kick with the outside of the right boot from about 35 out. Open goal square, and he put it through. So his first of the afternoon. And the fourth for Thompson. They go to 4 5 29. They lead Bell Post Hill 2 4 16. And that's on the Common Affine Hotel second quarter scoreboard. We played 20 and a half minutes. I think the other good thing about that was there was a couple of Bell Post Hill players nearing the goal square, and the Thompson boys were able to hold them out, shepherd them within the rules, because sometimes you can do it a bit early. But go on, go on. Ever heard of the full Monty? Oh, no, don't tell me that. <laughs> don't tell me that. Two goals up. The oh, only, only two. Only two. Oh, right. 6 You're 3 right. to 3 9. All right. <laughs> Uh, Is that oh, half time there? No, nah, not yet. Nah, they can't do it. Ball thrown back in, in the middle of the ground and it uh, goes Fenevesi, taps it further into the half forward line. Scott's there with also Muir. Muir went to ground. Scott kept on his feet and now he's on his ground. He slipped over as he's trying to trap the ball and the umpire stands back and says... Oh, the ball, he's going to pull it. Yep. Puts him. So free kick goes to Lentini. So Lentini now in their defensive end for Bell Post Hill. Kicks the ball high. Didn't travel too far. Front of the contest. Merrick went back and again clicked at his own ball. Handball's over the top. Carlin got the handball back inside to Dozen. And he goes now into the half forward line. Barton's up in front. Can't take the mark. Flacavino had hands in the, on the ground now. He's trying to get the ball out. Umpire circles once again. He's let it go. He still continues to let it go. Now he will come in and there will be a ball up. So thrown up again by the umpire. Well, that's shepherding the ball. That's going to be a free kick to Bell Post Hill. Well, it's going to go the other way. That's, that's ridiculous. The other kid jumped early and went across the fly of the ball. Anyway, Baden wins the free kick. He goes into the half forward line, but Gray, nice bit of work, and he takes the mark defensively for the Bell Post Hill side. And we'll settle things down once again. Asked to play on now by the umpire. So he goes short, sideways, Lentini. They've maintained possession. There was not much ground made. But he's just looking to go down the line now, Lentini. Well, he actually, ball comes back into the middle of the ground. Flacavento's there and took the mark. Umpire said oh, he's that's held 50, it long enough. I don't think he thought... I think Jones thought he hadn't taken the mark. Well, it doesn't matter if he's paid yeah. it, it's 50. Mm. So Flacavento looking to move on quickly. Goes outside and has Merrick out there by himself. And he's on the boundary line. Got Jones running past. I think he ignores him as he does. Now he plays on. Comes back inside. Kick was good to Carlin. The next kick got to be good. There's blokes everywhere. So he's going to go towards Tar, But in front, the Look mark has been taken. And then Baden once again slides in. He takes the mark. Handball's off to Finnevesi. Goes short over the top. Mark is taken out there, Egan. Half back line. And steadies things down once again. So down the line he goes towards centre wing. Kick wasn't that flash off the boot. It runs along the boundary line. It stayed in. I think it's Gardner out there. Picks the ball up and kicks the ball back into their half forward line. And this time the ball will go over the boundary line and we'll have another throw in to take place. This time inside the Ford 54 Thompson. 24 minutes gone. Second quarter, Connorfin Hotel scoreboard is Thompson 4 5. They lead Bell Post Hill on 2 4. So throw in, Tresson's going to do the ruck work against Dan Gray. Favours Gray, big thump away. Towards James on defensive 50. Gets around a couple. Handball over the top. Sets a bit of a task. 
Still under pressure, the Panthers across uh, defensive 50. Ball kicked off the ground, but only as far as Tom Ridge. He threw the ball away and then picked it up again. The umpire said play on. Panthers get away for Circa. He got one high and will take the free kick. He looks like about a 13-year-old, yeah. this kid. I saw him walk past before. Wow. So defensive side of the wing. He kicks the ball towards Barlow. Jakey uses the body and takes the mark. Nobody stands the mark either, so a bit of time to set it up and goes towards Timmy again. Well, you know he's going to mark it. The he form does, in. especially in front of Fenevesi. He plays on quickly, 65 out from goal, two on two in front. Denham got to the front, Costello. Dangerous in this position. Played for a free kick and didn't get one. Ball comes going. back, handball over the top, holes find. He taps it on, Costello. Kick was smothered by Hutchison. Comes back towards holes find on hands and knees. Tapped it out again. And through the middle was, uh, I think, McNamara as well. Brandon Gardner pushed off the ball by Hutchinson, well, his, his own, own teammate. Now Gardner goes back and puts the tackle on the umpire. will come in and ball it up about 35 out from the Bell Post, Bell Post Hill goal. They had a couple of little half opportunities then, didn't they? They, they did. didn't quite capitalise on it. So ball up. Nobody in the ruck really takes it out. Tari tried to create some space. The umpire said play on. The ball comes out. Back to Tari again. Maguire's quite happy to see it through for a rush behind to the home side. They are 2-5-17. They trail Thompson 4-5-29. Ball has gone in quickly to the outer side, but uh, Thompson well, didn't have the numbers there. Bell Post still did. James got legged and will take the free kick. So he's in between wing and half forward on the outer side. He chips the ball short. It's okay. Fantella takes it. Plays on quickly. Drives it in now. Low kick off the back of the pack. And, oh, good tackle, Jakey Barlow. That's got dropping him. the footy. Nachos was right there. And it will be a free kick to Jake Barlow. Wants to play on quickly. Chips the ball to Basley. Still too far out for mine. Possibly. Yeah, Still 40 so. out. Better on the run, I think, from this distance, Caleb Basley. But anyway, we'll see. And a kick from about 45. I reckon he might have cheated there, Jakey Bale. I reckon he tackled him just before he got the foot. He's going to have to make it now. Oh, oh. Well, he kicked the ball and the siren sounded. So in midair. In midair. So it is half time. 26 and a half minutes in the second term. They want to get home early here. Thompson, 4 5 29. And they lead Bell Post till 2 5 17. The goal kick is Dale at half time. At half time, one each to Holtzfein and Costello. And for the Thompson side, two to Gardner, one to Freeman, one to Pam. So it's Thompson, 4 5 29. They lead Bell Post till 2 5 17 at the main break. We will take a break and come back the second half after this on 94.